Okay, this is the Heart Challenge course here at Waverly. Okay, we're going to start in the right atrium here. St students would get on a scooter. They would ride through the right atrium holding a blue ball symbolizing that they have deoxygenated blood and have carbon dioxide present. They would ride through here. They can probably ride two at a time side by side. Come here to the tricuspid valve, which is the first of the valves that they will come to. It's like that door that they go through to get from one chamber of the heart to the next chamber of the heart. So they would go through there. That would take them into the right ventricle. They would zigzag around these cones, still on their scooter. Zigzagging around, around, around. Once they get to here, they're still in that right ventricle. They're going to ride through this part. They come to their next valve. This is the pulmonary valve. Now they're leaving the heart via the pulmonary artery, which is right here, this rope. So they're going to be pulling themselves along this rope as they go down on their scooter still, pulling themselves along, going towards the lung. Once they get to about here where this red line is, they're going to put their scooter back on this mat. They're still holding that blue ball, so they're going to go into the lung now through this set of blue hoops that would crawl through there. They would deposit their carbon dioxide because in the lungs we get rid of that carbon dioxide. We breathe it out with an exhale. After they do that, they would inhale, pick up an oxygen molecule from that bin there. Pick one out. They would follow the arrows and leave the lungs through these red hoops here. Just like that. Now that they have oxygenated blood, they're going to be following the red arrows around this way towards the left atrium. Go in here. They can do high knees to get through these hoops. Then they come to their next valve. This is the mitral valve separating the left atrium from the left ventricle. They would go through here, still holding on to that red oxygen molecule since they have oxygenated blood now. They're going to be going over these hurdles, two on this side. They would follow around this way, going up and over these again, two more up this way. Okay, and then they come to the aortic valve. Okay, now they're leaving the heart again. They have that fresh oxygenated blood. The heart is pumping it out through the biggest artery in the body, the aorta. They would crawl through the aorta crawl through there and then they have a choice to make. They can either decide to bring that oxygenated blood to the brain or to the muscles. If they choose the brain, they would crawl through the tube that says to the brain, obviously. They would come through here. They would deposit that oxygen into the oxygen bin because in the brain they have to do a task and in order to do that task it needs that oxygen it uses it up. So their task this time is cup stacking challenge. They have a six stack up and down three times that they need to do for um, the older kids. After they're done with that, they would then pick up a piece of carbon dioxide because that is a waste product. Um, and they would pick that up. They would follow the blue arrows out of the brain. And this would be via the superior vena cava and back to the right atrium to start again. Okay, if they chose back over here to go to the muscles, they would crawl through this tunnel, crawl through there, follow the signs around to the muscles. Now they'd be going around the outside of the gyms, uh, keeping the cones, the little small cones, on their right hand side as they travel down and around the outside following those arrows, and that's going to take them to the muscles over here. Once they get to the muscle, they need to deposit their oxygen inside because in order for the muscles to do that exercise, they need to use that oxygen up. So after they do that, they're going to pick an exercise from one of these three fitness areas to choose from. They choose it. They do it however many times or however long it says to do that after they are finished. They would pick up a carbon dioxide molecule and take it with them. And now since um, they are back on the right side of the heart, they are deoxygenated blood. They have that carbon dioxide they have to get rid of. 
So they're taking it around the outside, around the outside, all the way around, all the way around to get back to the right atrium to start the cycle all over again.